Why are we not using biodegradable bags? Well, I tried to talk about what I did in L.A., but then Scott forgot about where we were on the subject board. Oh, I finally let you talk about the movie premiere, Bus Party to Hell. Yeah, but, but I feel like you took me through hell before letting me go, Bus Party to Hell. But through strength, courage, and confidence, you tied in our positive message to the horror film. Yes, I did. And it was scary. <laughs> no, it was good and positive. And we know what you could do for fun this summer, especially if you live by a boat launch. Yeah, but I'm away. Welcome to What Happened to the World Today. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. And this is a tale of how bad life decisions led to a YouTube show. I just got to start doing it and it messes you up. We're going to talk about what we've noticed is going on in the world today. So after 98 shows, I can still make Scott laugh during our intro. Yes. And yeah. after 98 shows, we finally have fine. The snow is melting. Woo! That's so exciting. And I am downtown. I'm going to move over this way just a little bit. And there you can see the container park behind you, and that's a praying mantis back there. Oh, that shoots cool. flames out of his uh, his mouth. It's pretty cool. So okay. if you ever get down here, go to uh, South Fremont Street, go to Container Park, and you'll be able to see that. A very very cool little. Uh, and place. don't forget to bring your Tupperware containers. That's right. I don't know why. Because it's a container park. He said that. Sometimes he just loses it. He's still recovering, folks. But it's been a long week. It's. He tired of the snow. He said it wasn't going to snow anymore, so he took a snow plow off his truck, and then the snow yeah. plow got back on his truck. And yeah. No, you never put it back on your truck. No, I did not. I ended yeah. up taking the snowblower out and using a snowblower, which, of course, took four times longer. Only four times longer? Wow. That's a big snowblower. Yeah. We won't go there. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, you know, the good news is Earth Day had just passed. So yes. The earth is coming back to being green. It's springtime. It's springtime here. We're seeing flowers. Springtime by you, you're seeing flowers. So that's pretty cool. Not yet, almost. Well, I, you saw we have, them, but we they have got green covered by stuff snow. coming out of the ground, but no flowers yet. You, you had flowers. They just got covered by the snow and killed. I'm, I'm hoping that by our next show, we have some flowers that I can show you. Well, since Earth Day did just go past uh, this last week, um, I, I'm surprised. I'm seeing more and more articles on this. Um, biodegradable, 100% biodegradable, even edible bags. Yes. So I saw some were made out of, uh, oh, I can't remember what root it was. Cassava. Uh, yeah, well, these were made out of cassava, we saw, but there, there's all kinds of ones that are out there now that are biodegradable, and, and everybody goes, oh, look, we'll just mix it up in the water, and you can drink it. The guy from the, from the cassava starch, uh, that was 100% edible. The owner, the owner. Kevin, yeah, not the owner, the inventor. Kevin Kumala. Yeah, the inventor is you know mixes it up in water and drinks it, tears off a piece, eats it. But, but why don't we do more of that? Why why are we still relying on the 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 poly bags? Like in California, which I just went to uh, this last weekend, I forgot I went into the store without a bag. Ooh. And in California, you have to pay for your bags. They charge you. Really? For the bag, yeah. You're supposed to bring your own bags in and reuse them. Otherwise, they charge you for the bags. How much do they charge you? I don't know. I, I really, I didn't want to be depressed, so I just, whatever. <laughs> I needed a bag. I, I didn't have a box. I'm not carrying out, like, you know, I bought salad stuff. Right. Right, so. You for know, the I rabbit. Tomato, and I, no, for me, I had tomato and I had a lettuce. Rabbit. And I had cucumbers and I had, well, cucumber and I had a pepper and I had mushrooms and. You know, so I'm um, yeah, kind of, kind of bum me out. But yeah, why don't we have these biodegradable bags everywhere? What's going on there? Well, they're still creating them and making them work better. Because uh, you remember, I have a hall decorating division with my entertainment company. You have a and, what? And hall decorating division. Hall decorating. I thought yes. you said you said holodeck. Knowing you and your um, that'd be cool. Star Trek. Yeah, holodeck. Hey, it's on the holodeck. Yeah. But uh, latex balloons are 100% biodegradable. They just, it, it, like, three weeks outdoors, and they're gone. Gone, gone. But really? I wouldn't eat one. Okay. Well, these Mil are Mylar balloons are not. They're, that's why in California you're not supposed to let, uh, have Mylar balloons because they also blow up power transformers and everything. Yeah, so I, so I, just, I just went for 100%, you know, biodegradable bags. 
and there's a page easily, you know. Sure. Page. Everybody well, makes think about it. it this way. In Las Vegas, that'd be fine because you don't get any rain. But can you imagine walking outside to the grocery store in the rain and have the bag just disintegrate? I don't think it's the. Uh, I don't think it disintegrates that fast. Is that the if problem? If he put it in the water and stirred it and drank it, it disintegrates right away in water. So is that the problem? I would assume that's the huge problem. Well, then how can you put the trash bag on that? Yeah, you that's know, a good question. You know, I, I'm sure. It, I'm just looking at it from all the different ideas I've had, but I never it was. I don't have the time or the expertise to create the product. Well, somebody somebody work. comment down here if they're like super expensive or what the problem is. I'm sure that's the other problem. Just like everything else, when you first create something, it's expensive. It's well, like you don't have the machinery in place to make correct. Right? You know, once, once you, get you get start doing mass production, prices come down quickly. Well, we could send it over to China, have it mass produced, but they'll put lead in it. Yes. So it'll be 100% biodegradable with lead. Great. So then the lead will get into the, like when they made all those toys and sent them over here. Yes. So, yeah. So, they, I mean, they've got garbage bags here. Co compostable, three uh, trash bags, three gallon, 500 in a case, $70 for 500. Is that expensive? That's got to be expensive, right? That's expensive. Okay. I usually buy a 100 bag roll of plastic bags for twelve dollars. Oh. Okay. I'm out of water here. I didn't fill up my yeah, water. Yeah, I, I, I forgot to bring a drink. Two shows in a row I forgot to bring a drink. Uh well we'll see if we can't make it three and so you could strike out. No, 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 no. I'm thinking I'm thinking yeah. We'll see. Okay. But yeah, I I noticed you didn't ask me why I was in LA. Um, well, oh, you know, because I figured you were going over the wall, uh, the sidewalk of stars. I was going over the wall. No, the wall is the building in the Mexico. That's where. Oh, the, that's right. That's right. That's, that's right. where the wall is being built. No, the uh, Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yeah, yeah. Hi, that's it. Hollywood Walk of Fame. I assume nope. that's why you went there. No. Nope. Okay. I went, I went there for something else. I had talked right. about it, I thought. How about, oh, 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 I know. You wanted to see if Arnold still lived in the governor's mansion. No, I know he doesn't live in the, Jerry Brown's back governor. Jerry Brown's the governor? I think um, he is. Oh, who is governor of California? Now, see, now. So I, I know, know, I just derailed us from our show again. Yeah, I, yeah you, you know, I mean, yeah, Jerry Brown. Since, yeah, I was right. Okay. There's stuff that I know that I don't even know I know. Isn't it so, scary? Oh, since 2011. Yeah, he's still, he, he made it back to being the governor. What, what is Jerry Brown most famous for in my eyes? Uh, we're going to derail the show. Brown. We're going to derail the show. I was thinking Jerry Brown and Jim Brown are not related. No, bad, bad Leroy Brown. No, yes. baddest man in the whole damn town. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to say because... Style. Because you used to live and work in California, so. Yeah, but that's not why I thought he was cool. Why did I think Jerry Brown was cool? Because his office is kept ultra-refrigerated? Because um, Ronald Reagan was governor before him? No. Let's see. Where All right, I give up. Where? Why did you think he was cool? Let's see. Oh, didn't he date Linda Rodstadt? Um, Isn't that Jerry Brown? I, I don't even know who he is. Cause really? It's California. Oh, I'm in Wisconsin. I'm not going to ask. Did L-I-N. Uh, Be perfectly honest with you, I, I don't know any other state's governors. Any of them. Yeah, you do. All I know is Wisconsin's governor. Did Linda, Governor and rock star Linda Brown. August 22, 2014, Linda Rodstadt and Jerry Brown first met somewhere in, okay, this is, okay, that's maybe when it's met somewhere in 1971. Okay, that would make sense. That's when she was starting in her popularity. Yeah, Jerry Brown was then the California Secretary of State. So, yeah, okay, they, they, okay. so that's why I thought he was cool. Because he hooked up with Linda Ronstadt. Yeah. I'd I go along with that because Linda Ronstadt's pretty cool. So there you go. 
it's kind of funny. All the young folks are going, what's a Linda Ronstadt? Yeah, everybody, everybody get on. Uh, she was in Google the on Broadway of Pirates of Penzance. Ooh. So there you go. Talented lady. Yep. But yeah, nope. she was she was she was in the LA rock scene in the seventies. So mm. we're we're telling our age, and that's even old for us. Yes. Now here's a weird question for you. Was well, how did she I ever Why did I was know she that? ever in any independent movies? I don't know. Why would you ask that? Well, because if I recall correctly, you went and saw an independent movie. Oh, I did. I went and saw an independent horror movie. That's why I was in LA. Yes, before before we got derailed here. Um, that's where we were going with this. That- that's that's where we were going. Oh, so we have a subject board. Yes. Over, let's see. For me, it's over. For me, it's down here. Yeah, and we follow. That's why every once in a while I look down. Yeah, that's where he's reading. Uh, what are we supposed to do next? We are supposed to casino playing cards. I don't. Know. Um, but yeah, I went to see a pretty cool movie. Uh, very fortunate to know uh, two of the actors in the movie uh, on both sides of the movie. Uh, one is Ben Stober. He was uh, one of the party goers that was on the bus. Yes, not and, from the old movie with Richard Pryor where the guy's name was Ben Dober. This is different. No, Ben Stober. Yes. S-T-O-B-B-E-R, Stober. I spell it right? I don't know. But he's a really, really nice guy. Really nice guy. Um, remember when we did the movie uh, Unwritten? Yes. Ben was in that also. He was psychiatrist in that movie. That's right. I remember that now. Okay. So, yeah. So... Um, head out to LA, head to the Frida Theater, and I go out with my other friend, Keith Kramer, who is one of the cult members. He's the one who kills everybody on the bus. So mm-hmm. it's, a, it's, it's a movie within a movie. I, well, okay. I guess that's the, oh, see, now I didn't bring it up. And now, I'm just thinking that is one way to avoid having to pay all those actors. What? Kill them on the bus. You still got to pay them. But they're dead. No, it doesn't work like that. Oh, that's right. It's, it's Hollywood, sort of. So Rolf Konefsky is the director and the screenplay writer. And this is kind of how he, he writes uh, his stories. So uh, Tara Reid is in it. So it starts off with her, and then she gets hit by the party bus. Okay. So then it's crazy. I'm not, I'm not going to do any spoilers or anything like that. But this is a, a Mahal movie. There's, uh, there's a few producers, but it, it's Sonny Mahal and Michael Mahal. And they originally named the movie um, Party Bus to Hell, but then it ranks higher if, if alphabetical. So it's Bus Party to Hell, right? Okay. So you go into search, right? And they're doing really well. I mean, they're ranked like the movie just came out. And it came out on um, – the 16th and the premieres were on the 20th and they're already ranked like 900th, which is pretty darn good. I mean, if we're right. just out of, out of, out of thousands of movies, like over 6,000 movies, right. They're, they're in the top, you know, 20% and then they're growing. So that's, and that's for an independent film, which is even now, better over other films. I'm just um, thinking, I'm not a big fan of horror films. And of this course, is, this is a funny, this is a funny throwback. Um, so what, what they like to say it's the old uh, blood and boobs horror movie. Right, right. Right? So you get to see boobs. You get to see blood. You get to see somebody get their head cut off. Uh, get but there's something blood. you got to remember. I drive a party bus all the time. I don't want you, to be no, thinking at this, 2 o'clock in the morning, this is going to happen to me. This should, this should be playing on – you should play this on your bus. This yeah, should, right. Yeah, good movie. Well, with inebriated people. Ah! But, but the summary of the movie is a party bus en route to Burning Man breaks down in the middle of the desert. It didn't really break down. The satanic cult brought him out there for a reason, which right. is the movie. Um, and then, um, yeah, they, they fight for their lives, and one by one they get picked off. Just like in a regular horror movie, it's pretty good. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so, and, and, and I'll bet you anything, at least two scenes, they get picked off right after having sex. Yeah. Yeah, but, they, that's standard. But, but that's yeah, but that, that's why this movie's so good. It doesn't try to be anything but what you want it to be. Uh, right. You know, it's it's filmed really well. It's acted really well. Um, it was just a lot of fun. It, it's it's pretty fun. And the cool part is being in the theater. I, I talked well, about this. You've got to stop doing that, man. 
and when I start talking about something exciting, you so you start doing that. And I'm like, really? Thanks for helping out. You're wait, welcome. Wait till you're talking about something you want to talk about. Um, it wouldn't be so bad, but this is my peak time of day. I have no idea what's making me do that. Yeah, lack of uh, fluids. Yeah, well, that could be. But yeah, so uh, totally derailed me. But uh, I don't even remember what I was talking about. But it's a really good movie, Scott. Steve. And you would like it. I'm going to force you to watch it now. I'm going to, I'm going to do a clockwork orange. Do you remember the movie? your eyes open. Do you remember the movie Screamers? No. All right. It was a science fiction thriller. I remember Scanners. Oh, scanners. But I remember Screamers. Oh, with the blowing up the brain, the heads? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's another one just like that. Okay. I love science fiction, so I was thinking this is a cool science fiction movie. Dude. Yeah, there's some science fiction stuff involved in this. Oh, you thought yeah. Screamers was? Yeah, well, both of them. I thought they were both. I've but we're not talking about them right now. I'm talking about. I, I know, right but when I watch a movie like that, it's terrible. I can't sleep. Well, then we should have you watch that before no! you come on our show. Yeah. <laughs> You're killing me. Hey, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. what. Why don't we do something positive right now? Well, okay, play the trailer. Perfect. Sure. Let's play the trailer. Okay. So I'm going to play the trailer. This is Bus Party to Hell. Uh, starring Tara Reed or featuring Tara Reed or Tara Reed's in it and a bunch of other people that I now know. But oh, no, I know what I'm saying. Being in the theater with the actors is actually really cool. So if you ever get a chance to go to a premiere, if they're ever showing a premiere in your neighborhood or that, or you find out about one, go see it. Go, it, they, they don't charge, if, if they charge extra, the money goes to a charity. But most right. of the time, it's just a regular ticket price and you're there That's and the right. actors are there. It is so funny hearing the insight and, and them laughing at things and you're looking like, what did I miss? What did I miss? There was something, there was something good. They're like, ah! But yeah, and you cheer for when your friends are on the screen, when they, you know, when they come on and you cheer for when they kill somebody or when they get killed, you cheer. <laughs> Yay, he's dead finally. Yeah. So, all right. So without further ado, here is the trailer for Bus Party to Hell. I get back. I'm going to sue this bus company for every penny that they're worth. Ah! Ah, get away from me! It's me, Ivy. Open up. Where, where, where is that, that, that thing? Party bus heading to the Burning Man Festival. We left the highway? Yeah, about five minutes ago. This ride may get a bit bumpy. Hey! 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 Are we there? Yes, them. They're here. We're surrounded. They're listening. Everybody, uh, we're just making a quick pit stop. Is anyone else getting cell phone service out here? Uh, we must be in a dead zone. They hear everything we're saying. You're his darkest fears. Oh my god! <laughs> hey guys, this one's unlocked. Oh! We ended hell. <laughs> it's making you crazy? I'll show you crazy. Maybe it's gonna be the night of your life. It's all my fault. Ah! But I'm not the leader. I'm just a servant of the chosen one. Really? That's your reaction? Are you ready for the ride of your death? That's it? You're frozen like that? <laughs> now you're not going to be able to sleep tonight? <laughs> you, come on. you got to be able to sleep from there. That was nothing. No, it really wasn't that bad. That was nothing. All you were missing were the boobs. I know. I mean, if you're going to show preview, show the good stuff. You can't. This preview, is, this preview is rated G for all audiences. That's sad.
Did I screw up my microphone? Wait a minute. Oh, Wait, no, it sounds good. Okay. What I'm curious about is why would you want an audience to see in a horror film? Well, you, you know how they do the movies? I've only seen it. I've, seen, I've only seen it. I've seen it in very rare situations where you actually get an R-rated trailer. Yes. But most, most of the trailers are, this trailer is approved for all audiences. But right, I, usually. I have been in some R movies where I've seen R trailers. I'm like, all right. That is correct. That's cool stuff. So yes. it was a great movie. It was a great time. Um, got to do a lot of fun stuff um, while I was there. And uh, we got a big problem. We do? Yeah. We had a big problem. I never started the timer. Oh. That's a big problem. But I have no idea how far we are into the show. Well, we'll just keep going until people kick us off. How's that? That could be a while. <laughs> so, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. I just got a text. <laughs> yeah, you guys get off the show. Get off the show. Yeah, we've been watching this thing for three weeks already. But I thought since um, Bus Party to Hell had, had the, uh, a woman as the hero. Correct. Was she a hero? I guess she was. Anti-hero? She was a hero. No, that's a beer. That's right. That's a beer in the Midwest, anti-hero. For all you people in the Midwest know what I'm talking about. For everybody else is like, what are you talking about? Hey, look, there's Fat Tire. There's all kinds of weird names and stuff like yes, that. Yes, there is. But it's time for our positivity quote of the day. Yes. And, and again, from Puff a famous show. woman. Yes, well, that, that was my whole point of why I it said it. was, but I just brought it back because we sort of digressed a little. Well, we didn't digress. You, you All digressed. right, I did. Yes. Fine. You left the show. You're the, one, you're the one who left the show, not me. I was here the whole time. I'm not used to this warm weather. It's freaking me out. I know it's freaking you out. Would you like me to read it or would you like to read it? Go ahead and read it. I like when you read it because you look down. Because I look down. Hey, wait, I know how to solve it so that I don't actually look down. What are you going to do? Put it on the upper screen? There you go. How's this? All right. Now read it. You gain strength, courage, and confidence. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop. That's way better. I like it when it's up there. You should read it from up there from now on. Okay. Okay. All right. So go for it. What is our positive uh, message for today or for the show? You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You were able to say to yourself, I live through this horror. I can take the next thing that comes along by Eleanor Roosevelt. And I thought that was fitting since we just talked about a horror movie. Yep. And your face, the look at your face from when we came back from the trailer. Yeah. Right? So it fits. Exactly. Right? It fits. So you gain all this courage and you strengthen this confidence by every experience. And when you look fear in the face, we looked you in the face and we saw fear. Um, and you're able to say to yourself, I lived through this horror movie. I did, I did, I, I did. horror, and I can now take anything that comes along. So I thought that was pretty preview. appropriate. Thank you, exactly. Eleanor Roosevelt. I thought, yes, thank I you, thought Eleanor. That was a fitting saying for this show, for having a horror movie and having boobs. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't think of Eleanor Roosevelt, they don't think of boobs, but. No, no. I do now. Yeah. <laughs> There's. There's only a handful of president's wives that anybody ever thought about boob with. I guarantee it. Oh, Jackie, you know, the Jackie Kennedy Onassis. Yes. Melania Trump. Well, we've seen them. Well, exactly. <laughs> we don't think about it. We've actually seen those. Yeah. Um, Obama. Michelle Obama. Yes. Obama. Very attractive and classy um, woman. Um. Hey, write down your favorite first lady. Down Martha there. Washington. Coming. She was crazy. Uh, yeah? No. Yes. Yeah, Martha Washington. Yes. No, Lincoln. No, Lincoln. Lincoln bet, bet, no, she was crazy. Okay. Uh, Betty Todd Lincoln. Well, considering he was actually a vampire hunter, yeah. Bet, Betty Todd Lincoln. Betty, what was her name? Todd Lincoln. Mary. Mary Todd Lincoln. Mary, Mary Todd, right. Mary Todd. Why did I think of Betty? Because you said Betsy Ross. Betty Boobs? I don't know. Betty Boop. Boop. Yeah. So, no, that's really cool. Sorry, folks. He got me talking about boobs today, and that just screwed me up even more. Yep. Well, that's what happens when you go see Bus Party to Hell. Yes. You should talk okay. about it. So, our, our last subject is something that I I think that if you were to take a, uh, a camera out to any pier that's busy, 
Boat launch uh, pier. Like boat launches. Um, Lake Mead out here, there's a few places you can go and just set up a camera. I don't right. know you would see this on a regular basis. But uh, some people think that their car should go in the water with a boat. It makes perfect sense to me because if you don't get your car in the water, how are you going to get it clean? Yeah, this is not the kind of clean that you want. This is, um, oh, what was the name of the? This the is the Bueller's insurance Day company off? is not giving you all your money. Remember, remember Ferris Bueller's Day Off when he drives the car off into yes. Michigan and uh, they open up and the fish come out? Yeah. I'm like, well, first off, that's not happening in Lake Michigan. But, okay, <laughs> I'll go with it. It's a movie. I have seen vehicles back their boats in and go in so, the, you know, the water gets the engine compartment and stalls out the truck. I've well, seen it. Here's the first thing people don't realize. If your exhaust, if you back up far enough for your exhaust to go under the water, it now creates back pressure. And if you take your foot off the gas and the engine is idling, the water will actually choke the engine out because Correct. there's not enough pressure for the engine to push the exhaust out of the exhaust pipe, which will cause the car to kill. That's and right. This guy apparently did it one worse where he backed it up, got the boat in the water, opened the door and left the car in neutral Oops. and let it roll into the water. So I think the car was still running, but he put it in neutral and let it roll right into the water. Yep, that's a boo-boo. And then now, it sunk. You know, we've got, you know, at Lake Lawn where I do a lot of work, uh, weddings Lake and Lake Long Lodge, like Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Yes. No, Delavan, Wisconsin. Okay, De Lake Long Lodge is in Delavan, Wisconsin. On Lake Delavan. But okay. anywho, so I, was, I was out oh. there doing, doing a wedding on the lakefront, and you can see the, the boat launch because it's 200 feet away. And I saw a car back down into there, our truck, back in there. He didn't, he didn't submerge, but he got in there pretty good. Opened up the door, stepped out, not realizing he was so close to the edge of the ramp. The water was taller than he was. He went, bloop, completely oh. disappeared. He come popping up. <laughs> okay. So he had a jacked up truck. Yes. Oh, that's pretty funny. Like I said, you, you should take a video camera down there and videotape. Just set it up for today. I'm sure you'll get some good stuff. Oh, sure. I'm sure. Yeah. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, I can't think of any more fun than watching people destroy their lives. Now, I've seen a guy back one in and forget to unstrap the back of the boat. Yep. And go back too fast and, and sink it. So it went back too fast into water. It was at too much of an angle and the yep. water came up over the back of the boat and just sucked it in. Sure. And then, and then, and then if, if it's at the end of the day when people are pulling that's another thing to watch people pull boats out. When the ramps are wet from pulling the boats out and it's all it's dripping there, yeah. the, if their tires are, they're, yep. yeah, and it's spinning their tires. And, of course, the algae that accumulates during the week, because it obviously is busier on the weekends, that helps make it slippery too. Yeah, it makes it slippery on the ramps. So uh, if you're looking for something to do on uh, the weekends coming up and World Day weekends coming up and stuff like that, uh, head down to a boat ramp. <laughs> and remember, if you get a good video, send it to us. We'll put it on our show. Yeah, we will. Uh, but with that, I want to say thank you for watching. And if you feel our show is not a bad life decision, then please subscribe, like, watch our other shows and channels. Uh, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, get people to watch, get other subscribers. Remember, our next show will be uh, the 1st of May. May Day, we, May Day. We have a new contest coming up. So stay tuned for what that, that contest and that giveaway is. Uh, again, it'll be get subscribers to subscribe and make comments that say, I want the, I'm not going to tell you yet, Got to stay tuned. Next show, we're going to tell you. On show 99, we're going to have a new giveaway, and that'll be for the whole month of May. But uh, what happened in Las Vegas today, uh, STE, far fun. Uh, but fun guy, the fun entertainer. Guy the entertainer. Let's see. I had a point like this. That's where the subscribe for us is. But fun guy, the entertainer. Fun guy, the entertainer cooks for you. Uh, Pyrotech Productions. Uh, I don't know. All our stuff. We're, we're all over the place. We're worldwide. Uh, do I have? We're I international. Have Name of my book's going to be Yes and Now. Uh, yes and Now. Um, but that's what you could do for self-help. So be positive out there, my friends. Uh, I want you to live every day, and we'll see you at the next show. And have a good one. Be crazy. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Don't you step